Good evening. Welcome to Secrets. We thank and praise God for a wonderful day, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're to be glad and rejoicing and be happy in it. I thank and praise God for my co-host, uh, Brenda, Dr. Brenda Williams. Amen. Amen. That Amen. She's here with me, and we're so hilariously excited yes. about our bishop being with Amen. us. Come on, give me yes. Amen. 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 Let's give him a hand. <laughs> and we here, Bishop, we thank and praise Amen. God for you being here with Secrets. And uh, we're not going to go too deep and catch you all God like they did with me when I came in here. Amen. But we're going to do the best we can. But, Bishop, uh, how long have you been in California, really? Uh, I've been in California all my life. Okay, so you're a native here. Oh, yes. You were born yeah. here. Yes. What about your roots, your, your parents? Uh, my parents are from, uh, my dad was from Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh-huh. And my mom was from a place called Wortham, Texas. So where did ministry come in at? At what age? Uh, probably about four or five. I was raised in church. Four or five? Yeah. Oh, so were you in the Baptist, the Church of God in Christ, or what? Well, I've been apostolic all my life. Oh, you've been apostolic all your life? Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Now, that, that, that's, that's wonderful. See, you got more roots than me. Amen. Because I had to go through to get through. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Starting off Baptist and uh, dumped by my mother to be picked up by God. Oh, Amen. Man. And so the interesting thing is, what, what, what happened when you really received your call? Um, I was um, juvenile delinquent. Okay, well, I want to know about that. And then uh, at age 19, uh -huh. um, I, uh, the Lord blessed me uh, with my wife, which has been a wonderful gift to me for about the past 41 Amen. years. Look at that. That's and that, wonderful. Uh, kind of <laughs> helped turn my life around. Uh -huh. And so, so with, with your with your delinquency, uh, do you mind sharing that with us? Oh, I was just well. I was raised in church, but you know, my mother was a praying mother. Uh huh. So I get caught uh -huh. <laughs> every, every time something I do wrong, I get caught. So boys' home uh, camp, youth authority. Mm -hmm. Uh, just down through the years, and then God just kind of, you know, at age 19, that was when it was, uh, it, it ended for me and the world, mm -hmm. and so basically starting in the church and ministry. Did you get a lot of exposures uh, to keep you sidetracked from going in? How did the enemy mm -hmm. come against you to keep you from your calling? Uh, well, coming up as a young fella, many times people, are op even in church, mm -hmm. there's dysfunctional families. So we were, we were religiously dysfunctional, hard line, tight but it's right, rules and regulation, a whole lot of legalism. So, and, and a young person can only handle so much of that. And so the enemy exploited that. Uh, where it caused me to go out into other areas. I'm not blaming the church, I'm blaming me. But uh -huh. still, it, allowed, it caused me to go out into other areas and then the enemy just kind of exploited the thing and just took it from one thing to another. Well, what, what exposure, before you give us about the exposure, Brenda, let's do some uh, 46, amen. Praise the Lord. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, mm -hmm. Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Hmm. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. Uh -huh. The heathen raged, and the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. So, Bishop, what would you say would, our show is based on, about secrets. We didn't get a chance to really get into anything as far as uh, 
your testimony, but what would you really say was a secret from your parents, the church, or your friends? What, what, what was your secret? Um, to me, secrets are relative. Uh -huh. uh, based on exposure, uh, things uh -huh. that you were exposed to, things that you were involved in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And um, a lot of times people have uh, had to uh, conceal mm -hmm. uh, secrets because of the exposure mm -hmm. of others. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, I got you. Yeah, and so, and so uh, a, a lot of times um, in, to, to um, not sacrifice others' um, challenges and problems and uh, issues, uh -huh. things are covered. That's and true. People don't talk, people don't say I things. See. But the problem with concealment uh -huh. is that it's internalized. Uh -huh. And then from that, that creates other problems that don't go away because you grow up. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, so you didn't get... Okay, you... Let me see, you're talking like a... You are a bishop, but you're talking like a psychologist right now. <laughs> and I'm not the one on the spot being right. interviewed. Right. Right. But at any right. rate... Uh, say like with me, my mother left me on the steps, basic, point blank, at six years old, mm -hmm. point blank. I didn't go around the Marbury Bush, you know, <laughs> used to interview me. I, I'd say, well, I was dumb by my mother. I was married twice. I was dumped by each one of my husbands. I was dumped by man to be picked up by God. Mm -hmm. So just to be specific. So... Could you be specific? About me or you? No, we're interviewing you, not me. Okay. <laughs> well, you know. It, You're my guest. I understand. Uh -huh. okay. And so, um, you know, one of the things that I found that um, coming along, mm -hmm. um, you have to be careful about just me personally about hostilities mm -hmm. because the people, part of the abuse in one sense, mm -hmm. Um, on one hand, I've had to pastor and minister to on another, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so God has a way of healing and helping mm -hmm. you to accomplish what he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so there are points in times, and as I said, in terms of dysfunctionality in family uh -huh. that I dealt with. Uh -huh. um, and, and again, without a lot of exposure, um, you know, it, Ch rearing children mm -hmm. and rearing them up under a rigid standard. Mm -hmm. You're doing. I'm a solid, it's very rigid. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Well, you're doing. It, it may it, it may work for you then, uh -huh. but it creates a dysfunctional uh -huh. um, thing later, and so that person has to adjust. So for a secret, I had to make adjustments uh -huh. as I got older, and that was one of the key things. My wife was a real important healing part. Uh -huh. of my process. We will be bringing First Lady on yeah. next. Right. Amen. Right now the spotlight's on you. Right. Amen. And, and so, so, you know, it, it's, no, it's no secret that uh -huh. I shared that in terms of being a juvenile delinquent. Uh -huh. uh, there was a day and a time that I'd ride in your car with your, your permission. Uh -huh. And I'd go in Which your refrigerator GTA without or something you being like that? Well, young, youngster. Yeah, just, just I understand young, that. As a youngster. Yeah. Well, what happens when I came to, at 19, yeah. when I came to know Jesus, uh -huh. then there was a complete miraculous change in values. Uh -huh. Now, those values were not absent. Uh -huh. They were put in me as a kid. Uh -huh. But Jesus brought them to the forefront at 19, uh -huh. and that's when I embraced those values uh -huh. and got changed. So, you know, life See, changed. See, that's what happened with a lot of us um, coming up in uh, the church, mm -hmm. like with my mother leaving me, and I didn't see her for seven years, mm -hmm. okay? And there were values that was put in me by my grandmother. Right. And uh, they were put right. in me right. with this. Amen. And so I remember the time I stole a nickel. I didn't really steal a nickel, mm -hmm. but the nickel was on the floor, <laughs> you know, and I just picked it up. But it hurt my grandmother so too. She only made $3 a week. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so she would wonder why that I would hide the nickel from mm -hmm. her 
which was a secret. I could have I could have died. Because I put the nickel in my mouth, Bishop. Mm. Mm. And you know how when you're caught, you may not know because you got really good hair. When you, first lady will probably know when she comes. She'll know about us doing the kinks back mm. here in the back. Mm. Well, when they did the kinks and combing my hair, the nickel flew out my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I could have choked. Mm. See, the enemy tried to cut my life off before, and this is what I'm saying uh, concerning you, mm -hmm. that what what was it that the enemy tried to stop this great anointing that I know and been exposed to set up under you that you have now? The enemy had to try to cut you off. Yeah. This oh, yeah. is what I'm oh, yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. He had to, because there's no way in the world that you would have this miraculous, not to me, this is the way I see it, mm -hmm. miraculous anointing that's on you that's, that's blessing the people. I've been to your church. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you just blew us away. Mm -hmm. The way the Lord used you, Amen. and you're so calm. And, 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 and a lot of ministers and a lot of bishops, I would say, I'm not trying to put you on a pedestal, but they're not. You have this calming that a lot of ministers don't have. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I glean to you, you know, right. and, and the First Lady, because uh, inside of me, there's a little girl. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when people, I tell Brenda all the time, don't talk so loud. Mm -hmm. Inside of me, I can't deal with a lot of loudness and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, talking crazy and stuff and things like that. Not that she talk crazy, but I mean, just too much vibration. Right. Uh, you understand what I'm talking about on the spiritual level. Right. And so when I, when I get to talking to people, it's so important for me to see that the, not to expose them b because we're going to pray for whatever you got delivered for. Right. You're going to pray and you're going to look into the camera mm -hmm. for those that got in the car. And I know many, it happened to my kids too, mm -hmm. that got in the car without somebody else's permission. Right. Amen. Right. And so as being a bishop now, I'm trying to see how did you get there? Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're going to pray for the ones out here now that may be a bishop, that may be an apostle, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. And then after going through those things, everybody's not fortunate bishop, including myself. Mm -hmm. Get your hand a minute because I don't want to cry. Mm -hmm. Including myself, mm -hmm that I didn't get the chance that you, you got. Because mm -hmm. my husband and I were married for 50 years. Mm -hmm. But he left me at 25. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to hear that you've been married to your wife for 40 years, mm -hmm. it gets my heart. Right. Just give the Lord a hand. Right. Amen. Just give the Lord a hand. Mm -hmm. And so Brenda, I admire her so much because she got the chance that I didn't get. To be with her mother and father Amen. for the years. She's a PK kid. Mm -hmm. And she got the opportunity. My mother and father was never married. Mm -hmm. And so the people that I get on my, have to come on my show, it's people with secrets. Mm -hmm. and, and I just pull from my brain all the time. What did you guys do? What did you guys talk about? Right. How did you do right. this? How did right. you do that? And, it, mm -hmm. and, and it's just everyday language to right. her. But I never had it. I never had it. And when, when you walk with a person that have never had just a daily talk with a father, mm -hmm. it makes, you, you, don't, you don't understand what, where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. she, it's just everyday what? ice cream and cake for her. But for somebody like me, so I'm saying like with you, I want you to reach the people that was like me, mm -hmm. that didn't have the ice cream and cake that Brenda had. That you were with your mother and father, right? What? Were well, you with your mother and father? Yeah. So you had the ice cream and cake, too. That's what I call it, ice right. cream and cake. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it was ice cream and cake. But I'm, I'm just saying basically. Right. But for a person that have not had that bishop, it's a whole different world. Right. Amen. Right. So if you could look into the camera and pray for those right. that went astray like mm -hmm. you did. Mm -hmm. And uh, to some point, there was a secret. Right. You know what I'm saying? And pray for those because so now the Lord has raised you up to be a bishop and blessed you miraculously 
with a relationship, and we're going to talk about that later, uh, about your wife as she came into your life. Mm -hmm. The healing part of, of being with, with the man coming in when the man finds the wife, so we'll bring that in right. later. Mm -hmm. But if you could just look into the cameras mm -hmm. and pray for those right. that maybe they didn't make it. Because you remember Miles Monroe, I was telling Brenda on the way coming mm -hmm. over here that um, I get to tearing up. Uh, coming over here that uh, Miles Monroe said that many people have lived and died and never came into their full potential. Mm -hmm. So you're blessed. Right. And Brenda's blessed. Amen. 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 And so, and I'm blessed too because I survived it. Right. You know, I'm blessed in a different way. Right. But I didn't get the, the nurturing mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah, you may have had to switch in a different way. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get that at all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I got the switch too, right. but not for my mother and father. Mm -hmm. So I want for those that's like me mm -hmm. that didn't have that. That's what I want you to look into the camera mm -hmm. and pray for those right. that may be on their way and, and let let them know by you being a bishop now mm -hmm. that they can make it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, one of the things uh, a part of the secret um, for the last almost 20 years. I've been a Riverside County Sheriff Chaplain, and I've had the opportunity to minister to people that have gone through things that I've gone through, and things turned around. In other words, the same people that used to incarcerate me, I now have the keys to go in and out. So I've seen change. It took place in my life, it's taken place in others' life. And no matter what the challenge that you're dealing with at this point in time, no matter what you're going through, when God has purpose for you, Amen. then things will work out on behalf. Of, but someone has to speak it into your life. Someone mm -hmm. has to speak it to you. Some, sometimes we wait for things to drop out the cloud or, you know, we want it. It'll just show up uh, in some mysterious way. But God is very specific. And for you and your situation, where you are right now, mm -hmm. what you're going through, Amen. what you've had to face, mm -hmm. it has purpose. Mm -hmm. It has meaning. And the Bible says all things work together for the good for them that are the called of God and that are called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. And you have purpose. You need to understand that. When I pray for you right now, no matter how bad it's been, no matter how difficult it's been, no matter what you've gone through, God sees and knows your situation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you will, I didn't say may, you will come out. That has to be a part of your mind. I will come out. I will come through. And I declare and pray right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Every person that's listening to me right Seven now minutes. has had a broken heart, mm -hmm. a broken spirit, that have dealt with things that they could not bear. I declare right now that God is touching your heart, touching your mind, touching your situation, and things are changing right now, and that you'll never be the same. It only takes a moment for God to change you. In the name of Jesus, it is so, and I declare it right now. Amen. Amen. And Brenda, tell me about you, uh, like the bishop, you being a co-host and thing. Uh, you came out like bishop, uh, uh, not necessarily unspotted, but as a PK kid, amen. And so for the women, that, that's uh, uh, the daughter of a, of a pastor, amen. Your, your mother and father, were they? My mom was a pastor. Yo, see, you didn't, okay. <laughs> this, it's like pulling teeth to get something out of you, Bishop. Come on now, work with me. And so, so what, what about your father? Uh, he, he basically followed my mom, and he worked in ministry as well. So your mother was a was my mother was a pastor. That's where you get that soft, yeah. nice spirit from. Yeah. Isn't that precious? Yeah. That is so precious. Yeah. You remind me of my grandpa with that. Mm -hmm. My grandpa was so just just the only grandpa I think in the world that mm -hmm. that was like you. Now I meet you, so mm -hmm. see you're not my grandpa is not the only one. Mm -hmm. But Brenda, you know that. Uh, how much I admire the fact of you being a PK kid, and, and she don't really understand the things that I do, but I understand I do the things with her because uh, I haven't had them done in my life. So Brenda's like a filler 
to me. You know, so what happens, Brenda, when, when uh, as PK uh, as a PK kid like the bishop? Well, for me, uh, it was a little bit different because, as a PK kid, the whole church is looking at you like you have to really walk this tight uh, tight rope that you're supposed to be holier than thou. <laughs> you have seven minutes, <laughs> and we seven. had to keep up that reputation. So, uh, we I, I found that. Uh, in the uh, Christian environment, it was a little bit too overprotective for us, oh, and so therefore, like by bishop. so okay. therefore by it being a very rigid arena, and uh, we, you know we had to to really uphold this reputation. Uh, I don't know. We just tended to get into trouble by sneaking and doing all of that, and I think. I don't know. I think that being so overprotective really was not the greatest thing. But I thank God that he brought me into the woman that I am now when I look back on what all I went through. So, Father, uh, I thank you, God. And just pray for uh, all of the PK kids, Father, uh, out there that are going through the same thing, God, that they're trying to uh, walk in their parents' footsteps, and the enemy comes to take them off of focus. So, Father, I just come against, Father, every demonic force in their lives, God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray your divine protection over them, God. I cover them in your blood, God, and thank you for their destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And like with you, Bishop, you, you're so fortunate. So fortunate. Tell us a little bit about your mom. My mom? Uh-huh. Oh. Um, well, she's... Um... What, what did not... What... what she the mother, she's the pastor. Yeah. Pastor. Yeah. My, my mom was a great singer. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a soprano voice. Well, five uh, minutes. She sang all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, and a great preacher, great friend, mm -hmm. great supporter. You are um, blessed, I, 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 My mom was, uh, and we were friends. He, awesome. My mom was like my big sister, I, mm -hmm. I, I, and I awesome? respected her. But Isn't that we, awesome? uh, we, we, we could have an argument and not fall out. Look at that. Uh, and uh, we, uh, so she was just sweet. Um, she went to be with the Lord in 2005. Uh huh. Uh, How old was she? Uh, 75. Mm, two minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah, 75. So she's, uh, okay. but she's uh -huh. a wonderful. She, and she was my biggest fan. Uh -huh. mm. My mom was my biggest fan. Uh, the, um, she was not the dysfunctional one. Now, how many kids did your mother have? Um, five. With five. me, it's five. Two brothers, two sisters, and myself. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because we're going to be bringing your wife in to conclude the other. We have one hour, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll, we have like two minutes mm -hmm. uh, to uh, conclude trying to pull out of you, whatever it is. I, I've, I've been knowing you, but we never had a chance to talk. Mm -hmm. And to find out, now I have something to be teary-eyed again. Your, your mother was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And Brenda's father was a pastor. Yes, and, yes. and that's just so awesome. <laughs> you just don't know. Just mm -hmm. so awesome. Mm -hmm. But my grandmother was a missionary. Yeah. Amen. And that's what got my roots. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're going to thank Bishop. We're going to lead us out with the prayer yes. for, for the people mm -hmm. that's in ministry and mm -hmm. they have to pray their way through. Right. Because it's a different world being right. a PK kid. Right. Yeah. I didn't know you were a PK kid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, lead us out. Uh, Father, right now we thank you for this yes, time God. of sharing, Lord. And I pray that you bless each and every person that's tuning in, that's listening to this program. Amen. Lord, I ask that you bless Apostle Hollis, Lord, and our co-hosts. Lord, and just touch you, their lives, touch their thank hearts you, and their minds. Lord, thank I ask you, that you cause this ministry to be very productive yes, Father. and changing the hearts and minds of yes, people God. everywhere. And again, we pray for those of them that are listening, yes, that Lord. they are encouraged and yes, uplifted. God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the And Lord. as we go out, we just thank and praise God for we will be bringing on the, the outside of the Lord, the joy of your heart, which is your wife. She will be our next guest. 
coming in to to be the filler right. and the completeness of a, a man of God's life. Amen. Amen. God bless. Amen. Amen. Come on and give him the praise!